Whilst mining the archives, I came across some photographs taken in 2016 when I hiked around the headland from Ramsgate to Margate. I went in February, a good time for coastal views because the low angle of sun is not obstructed by buildings or trees had I been shooting inland. I checked the weather forecast first and then stayed overnight in Ramsgate. I started at Pegwell Bay, but St. Augustine, a missionary, had beat me to it, as did the Vikings in 890 AD. A replica longship commemorates their visit. I wonder if my ancestors came in something like that. The weather was uh, cloudy, but as if by magic it cleared the moment I got there, culminating in the most glorious sunset. Upon reaching the coast path, I was certainly in the right place at the right time. I travelled light with the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark I plus the 12 to 50 zoom. That was a much underrated optic, no longer listed in the catalogue. Nevertheless, being a zoom, it wasn't really the best optic for shooting into the light, particularly with the sun in view. Flare was minimised by positioning the sun behind a bush. I stopped down to f22 blow diffraction as flare in the end of the day is much worse. Continuing along the coast path, the Pegwell Bay Hotel appeared quite glamorous under the setting sun. I carried on to Ramsgate and my digs on the seafront, arriving at dusk. I was able to test the image stabiliser in the EM1 Mark I, which for this shot is an eighth of a second at 200 ISO, but underexposing by a whole stop. Ah, and well, so to bed. It was fascinating to compare the light at dusk with the dawn. At first, there was a bit of pesky cloud, but it added a touch of atmosphere, far breaking up completely. Although the headland is heavily populated, there was plenty of space on the beach, and being February and quite warm, there were not many people about. Sedate Broadstairs soon beckoned. It has strong associations with Charles Dickens, where at Bleak House he wrote David Copperfield. Again, not too many people, but plenty of foreground interest or depth. Now, I first switch to Aperture Priority. Chose Aperture, F11, and a wide angle lens. Assisted, of course, by the Micro Four Thirds technology, increasing essential depth of field even further for hand holding. The coast path briefly forces you inland before arriving at Kingsgate Bay and White Ness for its impressive chalk cliff scenery and a natural arch. After the broad expanse of Botany Bay, Margate appears on the far horizon, timed of course with another sunset. Turner used Margate for his skies and sea, and he was a regular visitor. A contemporary art gallery opened in 2011 and commemorates his many stays. I only had time for a quick copper before taking advantage of the rapidly changing light. This time the cloud was in the right place partially masking the sun, making photography with the 12 to 50 easier. I still stopped down to f22 to avoid flare, and this time the shots worked better. After witnessing the sunset, 
I grabbed a sandwich and headed back home on the train.